Hello all, this is James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade, and welcome back to part two of the Steam Fiasco, the Halloween event where they're attempting to scare us into leaving Steam. Uh, they have destroyed our library, as many of you know, and I am worried that they are not going to repent. Um, while viewing the community discussions, you get the gist that uh, some of the paid moderators, or I don't know if they're paid, but the corporate shills, if you will, um, they say that they've they've they saw more backlash for uh, the chat functionality, and they saw more backlash, blah blah blah. And, um, basically we should expect to just have to be stuck with the changes. I am not thrilled with that prospect. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've invested a lot into my Steam account, as many other people have. Uh... I wanted, at least for the remainder of my lifetime, for Steam to be the one go-to place where I could do all my gaming from. And so, for the most part, I have been a strong advocate against Epic Games and their exclusivity uh, crap and pulling games away from the free market, if you will, and away from Steam. But now, now I find that my Steam library just isn't what it used to be. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've, I've left this little system window open here to show that I'm running Windows 7 Professional, because in my last video, um, uh, there were plenty of people who made comments saying that my operating system looked old. And while it should look old, because I have it set to look old, you know, I, I, Windows allows you to use uh, customization themes so that stuff is laid out like the previous Windows before it and before that. And I quite like that because I don't like having to relearn Windows time and time and time again. I learned Windows way back in the age of Windows NT and Windows 95. Um, so maybe I'm dating myself here, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of where Windows is going, to be honest. Uh, Windows 10 is, is a whole different topic for another discussion. Um, but Windows 7 Professional is still a fully, uh, supported operating system. Microsoft has not ceased support for Windows 7, and so there's no reason I should be having any technical issues because of Windows 7. That's not to say that my issues might not be tied to the fact I'm using Windows 7. They could be. Um, but ultimately, the issues are that Steam is a tool. It's a tool that uh, it's a place where your games reside and where you launch your games. Steam has a function and that is to launch your games. I don't want Steam to fill the void of being the reporter about information on games. I could care less about that functionality. That is not a functionality I want in Steam. I want Steam to do one thing and one thing only, other than being a place that I can buy my games, um, and that's to launch my games. And so for that aspect, the previous Steam, with its minimalistic approach and easy to, to find and easy to look at library, where I could simply 
find my game in the list, click it, and be playing is far preferable to what I have to deal with now. So what do I have to deal with now? Well, let's take a look at the library, shall we? I've clicked library. You could tell that library has lit up white. Yeah, I, I've clicked library. Do you see a library here? I don't see a library here. Ah, but watch the magic. See, Steam has has uh, started working on becoming a new um, high-tech magical platform where you can use your mouse to perform interesting new... Uh, now you see it, now you don't uh, type features here on the game. What is my library going to look like when I finally have it filled in? Only time can tell. Oh, oh seem to be having a little problems filling this in. I've learned a trick. You know, you learn tricks when you have to deal with crazy crap like this. Watch this trick. Whole new feature for the friends list. Yes, grab that friends list and just wipe that board like you've just grabbed an eraser to, you know, erase the dry eraser board. Y you know what I'm talking about? There, we've we've erased it and now everything's good, right? Now, now we can put the Steam friends list away. And now we have this horrible excuse for... Um, Steam library. Well, so I managed to figure out how to get all of this crap to go away by deleting all the shelves, so that's something, I suppose. I, I've turned it all down to uh, the minimal settings or whatever it is, so that it's... This is supposed to be high performance mode right here, but it's it's obviously not really high performance mode. And then there's this damn annoying what's new feature. If we could get rid of this what's new feature, it would almost be like having the old Steam library back. I mean, I, I guess this is my wish list now, to make the what's new feature go away. If, if they can't just revert back to the old um, Steam library because it was far preferable to what this crap is now. At least they could get rid of this damn stupid ugly thing right here. They got rid of this. This wouldn't be so bad actually. Uh, I could live with this if this wasn't here. But it's here. Anyway, this is my update. So, uh, things haven't gotten better. The, the, the Steam library hasn't fixed itself magically. Um, and it doesn't look like Steam so far is uh, is hearing us. I mean, yeah, moderators are hearing us because they're, they're managing to find new and clever ways to hide our disgruntled posts into... Uh, giant posts that have labels that have nothing to do with what we're posting. I mean, it, it feels like the moderators are in damage control mode, and which obviously they are in damage control mode. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not impressed. I'm not happy. I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little more mellow today, as you can tell. Um, I guess I'm kind of in the in the stages of of kind of being depressed about something I I liked, just kind of being destroyed, and I feel helpless to be able to fix it. So yeah, I feel helpless to be able to fix it. About all I can do is make these videos. Um. With that being said, I really want to thank you for the support that uh, the last video has gotten. I have never, I've never had a video receive that many views in that short amount of time. That's incredible. 
I've also never gotten as many supporters as I've gotten within a one day period as I've gotten since posting that video. So I do appreciate all of you new subscribers. Um, and last but not least, I've never had a video get that many likes. This this is a this is a this is a completely new record. I've I've never had a video go over a hundred likes ever, and we're actually over 120 likes at this point. I'm just blown away. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, one of the best videos I've ever had has to come at the heels of one of the worst gaming days I've ever had. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a gamer. That's what I do. It's 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 my thing. And to have my gaming platform completely destroyed. And then to have the video where I talk about that become like my best video ever um, is a weird, well, it's weird. It's like you want all your videos to do well, but it, it feels strange when the video that does exceptionally well is in such a, it's for such a sour reason. You know, I just wish that the library would just magically go back to the way it was, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I was, yesterday I was um, kind of hopeful that uh, the amount of backlash that the community has made would wake these people up and would get this stuff reverted, but... I don't see any signs of a valve showing like they care or that they're hearing us. Most of the stuff I hear coming out of moderators gives me no hope whatsoever that that any of our messaging is is making it up the chain. And it just seems like it's complete damage control mode, and uh, they're definitely going to push this down our throat, no matter what we do, no matter how much we complain. So with that being said, I, I don't know how many of you are in this for the long haul, but I want to tell you guys that I'm in this for the long haul. Um, I have never bought anything from Epic yet because of standards, uh, certain gaming standards that I hold. Um, and at this point, those same standards are telling me that I'm not going to buy anything further from Steam until this gets fixed or reverted. And that might not, it might not ever happen. So I may be having to find new clever ways to get the games I want to play. Be it through uh, GOG or or straight from publishers like Paradox, um, I'm sure that there's still ways to get a hold of the games I want to play. Uh, I'm certainly not going to shut my Steam account down. I'm not going to throw away these you know hundreds of games I have here, and I'm probably still going to play them, obviously. Uh, but I'm not going to give, I'm not going to give Valve any more money. Um, well, unless of course they fix this and they they relent and they they give us our our classic mode, if you will, of the library back. But at this point, I I don't have any hope that they're going to do that, and I'm preparing. To, I'm preparing to dig into the trenches and and follow through with my threats. Anyway, uh, I'm James Johnson, aka Sulfur Blade. I just wanted to do this second video, uh, most importantly, just to to thank you, the community, the the people who have made this last video I made so amazingly awesome. Um, I appreciate each and every one of your comments. Uh, the likes, the views, uh, you're all great. Anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say. Um, 
So yeah, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.